So I have a big update about the Ram TRX. In the last video, I said that a new special edition was coming. What I didn't know was that it was coming soon, like this week soon. So get your popcorn and your wallet ready, and I'll fill you in on this Destroyer Grey TRX that is coming soon. Okay, let's not waste any more time and get into this. Now, I've heard rumblings a few months ago that a 2023 Ram TRX Special Edition was going to come before Ram switches over to the 2024 model year. Now, I know some of you guys might be thinking that I'm lying or I'm capping or whatever words these younger crowds be coming up with next. But what some people don't realize is that Special Editions are not customizable to customers. So you can't go tell your Ram dealer that you want a base model edition edition which I said months before anyone else knew that that big was coming. Now, I also said that holiday green could be a color that could potentially come since Ram deleted a commercial with a subline green looking TRX a couple years ago. And it said that the bomb of the video to ask Santa Claus for it for next year. So I felt as though that was a pretty good clue that this could potentially be another color that's going to be coming. So I don't know why Ram wouldn't rotate out two or maybe three colors from Dodge so the people can have the option to color match their TRX with their Hellcat, their Red Eye, their Super Stock, or their $100,000 over sticker, Demon 170. But it seems at this particular time that they will. So as I said earlier in the intro, apparently this new 2023 Ram TRX will be a destroyer gray and no, you cannot order it. The dealers will be able to, and I found out from someone just yesterday that reached out to me that dealers should know this week how many allocations they will get. So I don't know if Ram is going to announce this new special edition this week, but certain dealers should know this week sometime. So if you know a dealership that's gotten either a niche edition or a sandblast or maybe a Havoc edition in the past, there is a good chance that they might get this new edition which I heard going to be called the Lunar Edition this particular time. I never used this source before, so you can take that name with a grain of salt. But I, I believe that one of these particular trucks was at the Dilla Collusion. <coughs> I mean, Dilla Convention in Las Vegas that the same week as the 170 price fixing. <coughs> I mean, my, my research is flaring up again here. Um, I mean, the Demon 170 public reveal. Now, I don't know what exact options will be on this new Lunar Edition, but the Special Editions are typically loaded trucks, and the stitching are generally similar to the color of the exterior of the truck. With the Initial Edition, you had the orange stitching, the Sandblast, you had that pure looking color for the stitching, the Havoc went with a yellow stitching, and with the Destroyer version, I mean, I would guess they're probably going to use maybe a gray stitch. I mean, I hope not, because people who don't get the red interior stitching, would get a similar color i believe it's like white anyway but i mean we will see hopefully it's like some kind of like bronze color or something similar since it is allegedly playing on the lunar theme now i haven't seen any photos of this particular edition beforehand so i don't know what color the interior is going to be but more than likely you're going to see that lunar edition on the uh, the badge on the center console and as i said in my other videos don't feel pressure to get into this particular edition if you can't find one at sticker price Try another dealership and let these trucks just rot on their lots. I'm gonna let you in a little secret. Get a little bit, get a little closer. Get a little, just a little bit closer. Okay, right there. Uh, okay, personal bubbles here. These dealers they need to sell these vehicles over sticker because they need to pay for these EV upgrades at the dealerships that Solana has mandated by 2024. So instead of coming out of the owners' pockets. They're going to get it from you instead. I'll do another video in the future about why these 2023 vehicles are marked up so much over sticker and why next year you'll magically see so many of these dealers have new stuff all around their dealership that came out of your additional markup pockets. There are still dealers out there that will sell vehicles at sticker price, especially TRXs. You want to know where to find them? Do you? You sure? Come, look, come a little bit closer yet again. Make sure you tell everyone about this. In every single video on my channel, there is a link in the description to the TRX form that I don't collect a single penny from, but there is a list of dealers and people on there that is all about MSRP. So don't let these capitalism, free market, that's what the market dictates, 
they ain't making them no more. Uh, they'll be worth Hemi Kuda money in 50 years. Yada, 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 yada. People tell you to spend a penny over MSRP. The TRX is coming back in 2024, and there are over 30,000 TRXs that have been made in less than three years. Plenty of opportunity to get a new or used one if that's more of an option. If you're worried about buying used, worried about your warranty might run out or what somebody else did to the truck before you did, I'll leave another link in the description for you to get an extended warranty from one of the dealer partners on the TRX form. And the price will be at dealer cost plus about $50. So good luck trying to find a better price from any of these other civilized dealers like Rick Hendrick. Just saying. And to close out this video, yes, the Shroyer Gray is coming from a leak that I've learned about. No, the order banks will not open just for you to order it. Only the dealers can. Yes, the TRX will be fully loaded like the other special editions and probably be marked around at least probably like 108, 109 MSRP mark, somewhere around there, depending on how Ram does it. No, I don't think you should pay over MSRP for this vehicle, but as you've seen me post in the community feed, if you want to pay over MSRP, I mean, I wouldn't do it personally, but I know some of you guys are gonna do it anyway. And yes, there are plenty of TRXs in the wild that are at MSRP. If a dealer has a TRX marked up, I mean, I would personally just laugh and turn around and peace out. If they don't want to negotiate, take your time, take your energy, and take your money elsewhere. And as I said in my last video, before these dealers are jacking up the prices for the TRX, because they will be the last confirmed Hellcat, and it is confirmed because multiple outlets have reported on this. So don't listen to these people in these groups saying that, oh, when the order banks open back up in the summertime, the TRX will not have a Hellcat in it. Don't listen to them. Here goes the evidence right here for you. But I would recommend that you get your TRX sooner rather than later. So I will go ahead and bug my local Ram dealer right now about the destroy grade TRX. You can go ahead and let them know that Butter sent you on a mission to find a fair deal. And while you're doing that, I'll keep making videos revealing what Ram doesn't want you to know. I know I've been getting some flack in my community feed by posting some of these high ADM Demon 170s, but I mean, there's people who's out there who spent 100, 150, 200K over. If I can find you one at 80K, 85K, uh, 95K, something under 100K ADM, and get you out of the, out of them crazy high markup ones and save you five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. I mean, it's a better deal than what you already had. I mean, me, me personally, you know, I wouldn't spend over a markup for a car. I mean, I thought I had my D170 MSRP, but I mean, like I said, people don't have an extra eighty, hundred thousand dollars just sitting around to go buy a car, and dang sure they're having another hundred thousand dollars to go put in some greedy owner's pocket. Who's about to lay off pretty much all their salesmen in the next few years if uh you guys are salesmen think you're getting all this ha ha key key money a lot of you guys gonna get laid off book it but i'm gonna say that for another video but if you made it this far in this video and you're one of the 80 percent of people who watch me run my mouth on a weekly basis help a butter out and subscribe to my channel the bigger i grow the more I can creep into the places that Ram and all these other dealerships and all these other uh, brands don't want me to go to. And I am working on some things in the background that could be very, very, very interesting going forward. So subscribe, stay tuned, and until the next video, I'm out.